here we are. The Crystal Kingdom of Sniffelheim, home to the famous Blue Orb. Uh, it's a fair wee while since I've visited, but it warms my heart to be back. <laughs> that must be about the only thing that is warm around here. Let's hurry up and get inside before we all freeze to death. Covered in ice. Look, they're frozen shut. How strange. Still, I suppose it's only natural they'd ice up in a climate as cold as this. Natural, my foot. What about all the people inside? How are they supposed to live if they can't get in or out of the city? Hmm. Ah, you have a point there, lassie. They've always made sure to keep the main gate free of frost, even in the dead of winter. So, what are we supposed to do? There's an orb in there we need to get to. Well, if we can't go in through the front door, we'll just have to head round the back. What happened to the gates? This doesn't seem natural at all. This may be the Crystal Kingdom, but it shouldn't be frozen solid. Cold winter or no, we'd better take a look around.
Hmm? <gasps> oh, I'm sorry. You gave me a fright. I hadn't expected to see travelers in town. Finally, someone who hasn't been turned into a block of ice. Can you tell us what happened here? Hmm. Well, it all began three months ago. It was a bright, sunny day, just like any other, when suddenly a strange shadow filled the sky. It was a witch. <gasps> a witch? My goodness! That sounds like something from a fairy tale. Just so. She chanted an ancient incantation. And just like that, the town was engulfed in a ferocious snowstorm. The wind took my breath clean away, and before I knew it, I had fainted. And when I awoke, all was frozen. I was the only one spared. She must be a pretty powerful witch to freeze this whole city with a single spell. I wish I could help, but all this ice is more than my magic can melt. Hmm. By the way, Missy, that symbol in your shawl, is that not... Oh, forgive me. I haven't introduced myself yet, have I? I am Frisabel, Queen of Sniffelheim. You're the Queen? So, does that mean the old king is...? I'm afraid so. My father passed away last year. Oh, I've only been in charge these few months, and just look at my kingdom. Whatever am I going to do? It looks like Sniffelheim's in a bit of a sticky situation. I suppose now isn't a good time to ask about the orb. An orb? What kind of orb? Why, the big blue ball that's been handed down in your family for generations, lassie. The truth be told, we need to borrow it. <gasps> oh, oh, of course. You would be welcome to borrow it. But I'm afraid it is locked up tight inside the castle which is locked up tight inside the ice. Well, that's just perfect. So if we don't find a way to melt that ice, we'll never get our hands on the orb. Hmm. Maybe if we got rid of that wicked witch, it might break her spell. I thought just the same thing. Why, only a few days ago, a band of soldiers from a faraway land came here to investigate what was happening. I sent them out to try and find the witch and fight her, but I haven't seen them since. Well, we can't very well leave them out in the cold. Let's go and give those soldiers a hand and bring spring back to Sniffelheim, shall we? Oh, thank you, thank you. The Wicked Witch dwells in the Hexwood, a haunted forest far to the north of the Sneerfelt Steppe. Be very, very wary, for the witch does not live in the woods alone. She keeps a fierce, magical beast to guard against intruders. Aye, we'll be sure to keep an eye out. Thanks for the warning, lassie. All right, come on, boys and girls. Let's head over to the Hexwood.
Another one.
Keep me from the witch beast! Yield! The Darkspawn... here? How could I be so foolish? served your mistress well, but your day is done. Now it is your turn, Darkspawn. You will not escape me this time! What is the meaning of this? <laughs> what a pleasure to finally meet you, Sir Hendrik. Is this your doing? Nothing personal, my pretty. But I promised the one who released me that I'd freeze you in your tracks. <laughs> what a lovely little trinket. It's just like his. We shall make such a captivating couple. Matching necklaces, no. What? Oh. More questions. You so-called heroes are nothing but talk. It's time to put you two on ice forever. Not if I have anything to do with it! Sir Hendrik, you'll be in charge of this party of foreign soldiers we heard about. The ones Queen Frisabel sent. <sighs> Leaving so soon? Sure you don't want to round us up and throw us in jail? Oh, I will. All in good time. Uh, oh. uh, 
He's freezing cold. That spell must have really taken its toll. We passed a hut on the way here. Let's carry him there. <laughs> 